Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo here with your daily reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. How are you guys doing? Thanks to all the members um, who were who joined my channel and were in the chat with me today. That was awesome speaking to you. If you would like to become a member of my channel, just click the join button. It's $9.99 a month and every week. I do a live stream for members only where you can ask unlimited questions, get mini tarot readings, okay? All right, you guys. Um, so yeah, if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe on the channel. I would greatly appreciate that. It would help uh, a lot because it helps pump the videos up and out there so more people, more Virgos just like us can, uh, you know, see what's going on. But let's see... What your drama is virgo how are you guys doing hello everyone in the chat all right let me see i just want to get a couple of these these here cards let's see what the messages are here for you virgo sun moon rising or venus hmm well of course the axe somebody's getting the axe Breakup, separation, stopping the cycle, stopping the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Mm -mm -mm. Virgo, this is you. You you have or you are giving someone the axe, axing out this relationship. You're just, I know, I hear you. I hear you. Some of you are like, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> you're ascending <laughs> Virgo I mean it just plays in so perfectly for you some of you just said that's it I'm done with this relationship it's just it's it's like um you know one of those balloons um you know it's got a heavy weight on it so it can't lift it can't ascend into the sky because it's got this heavy sandbag weight that some of you have been carrying around for so long and I'm not really referring to a person in the sense like there's somebody who's like a, like a sandbag, was <laughs> a sandbag in your life. It feels more along the lines like the relationship was just holding you back or holding you down. Like you weren't, it wasn't going anywhere. It wasn't progressing. It was making you feel, I don't know, just unhappy. You were feeling like somebody was abandoning you or somebody just wasn't um, there for you wasn't a part of your existence almost for some of you you felt like you didn't exist so it's an I, I feel like you're you're axing the pattern you're axing the cycle somebody who's giving you silent treatment they might still be uh, still be doing that but a lot of you are doing it yourselves now not to punish somebody but <coughs> excuse me you're transcending these obstacles you're learning you're expanding you've got a new phase you're some of you are preparing for union with somebody else. All right, let's see. Because you felt like you were stabbed in the freaking back. Somebody stabbed you in the back. Okay. Gave you heartbreak, pain. Again, two cards of separation. Maybe deception, uh, a shocking attack. Somebody just did something. Or a lack of doing something. Put a relationship. Like... It's done. Virgo, if you need to be done, it's done. Okay, there was a struggle, a lot of challenge. Maybe you were competing for somebody's love with other people or another person. Okay, could have been um, an air sign. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could have been a somebody came up to you um, and gave you some problems. In a relationship that you were in um, somebody was messing around perhaps some of you felt like you had to compete with someone for somebody's love and affection and attention and Virgo's like I don't think so have you seen me have you seen me 
<laughs> have you talked to me? Do you know I have the IQ, um, like superior IQ? Do you know that I'm very smart? And do you know that I'm very sexy and I'm amazing type of a person? And you think I'm going to compete with another person for you? <laughs> I'm just playing. So, okay, you've got somebody here who's feeling pretty regretful, remorseful for treating you like S-H-I-T. For allowing someone else to come in between a connection. Okay, this might have been a fire sign. We have um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay. Um... This person was very impatient. Very impatient. Oh my goodness. Hmm. This person was also quite lazy in a lot of ways. Like they didn't put the effort in, but they expected you to. So if if they weren't putting the effort into the relationship, that was okay for them. But for you, it was like, no, it wasn't okay. And if you said anything, they became impatient or flustered with you. There, there might have been like some kind of um, entitlement energy with this person. You know, like, do as I say, not as I do. So you couldn't do anything, but they could do whatever they wanted. This person may have tried to tell you that you can't be with anybody else, but then show you that they were trying to be with other people. Like a very controlling type of energy. And I feel like... This person is regretting behaving that way. Okay. Hmm. I feel like a lot of you are now asking yourselves, you're like, what am, what, am I, what are my spiritual beliefs? Will I conform or will I break out and start my own life and start over and do my own thing? Okay. This doesn't have to be a lover. This could have been a sibling. It could have been a, a family member or a friend. Whatever it was, I felt like you were this caged bird. And you could not or you were not allowed to break out of your cage and be radical or do something for yourself. Somebody was in your life trying to control you or keep you oppressed. So the question you're asking yourself is, will I continue to conform or am I going to ax this and just take a risk and move on with my life? Okay. Maybe these are principles or, you know, principles or ideals or traditional family roles or things like that. Maybe this was somebody that you were connected with who, um, this is how they were raised and because they were caged or they kept themselves, they couldn't get themselves out of something. You have to be misery loves company. You have to be caged with them. And I feel like now you're asking yourself, what, what path am I on that's going to lead me to where I'd like to go? A lot of you are checking yourselves now. You're checking yourselves. You're asking yourselves, okay, S step by step. Wait, I just heard that song. Wait, step by step every little step you take so i feel like what's step by step is that backstreet boys or in sync i can't remember i can't remember so yeah you guys are ascending you're like you cut those cords you cut those sandbags that the heavy weights whether like could you know it could have been I've, so I have to say, like, I'm not condoning this person's behavior, but I do see them, I'm not going to lie, I do see them sitting with regret that, like, they should not have treated you badly. They should not have tried to cage you. And I feel like their regret is, you know, because you abandoned them or you walked away. They abandoned you and then you said, okay, bye. <laughs> you just, they walked out and Virgo, a lot of times... You would have had somebody walk out of your life, but you kind of kept the door open and cracked. This time you shut it. You didn't leave the door open. That's all. Or at least going forward the next 10 days, you're going to, or the next month, I'm sorry, you're going to come to terms with that about some type of um, situation, person, place, or a thing in your life where you 
you have to stop leaving the door cracked. Maybe you'll come to realize this in the month of January. Because every time you leave the door open, like you don't have to push anybody out the door. Just stop leaving the door open for people who don't deserve to walk through the door. You know what I mean? Um, okay. Why am I shuffling this deck? Let me get, let's see, what do we want to use here? I guess we'll go back to this deck here. I just saw the King of Swords. Leo, I'm sorry, not Leo. Well, maybe for some of you, Leo. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the Ten of Swords. Defeat. Hitting rock bottom. Painful ending. So some of you might have been involved with that person, male or female. And you just are like not with them anymore. This could have been recently this could be right now or this could be coming up where it's like you're completely separated from each other mentally spiritually physically emotionally all right let's take a look and see what other energy there is going on here for you look at you you look good virgo you look good you're at peace now look at you recovering healing getting some damn rest you know, somebody told me the other day, they were in, um, they didn't realize how much stress and anxiety they were having from a relationship because they were so embedded in it for so long. The one thing that gave them a clue when they got out of the relationship they were healing is their eye wasn't twitching anymore. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine your eye twitching? from stress from a relationship whether it was like a family member friend whatever some type of intimate personal relationship and they said that when their eye was twitching they thought maybe they were just having um like an allergic reaction or something they they, this, they said it wasn't until i realized my eye wasn't twitching anymore after i got out of this relationship the stress was affecting this person physically i was having a physical toll but they wrote it off as something else because they didn't realize, you know, there's an old saying I say, and I believe this to be true. There's a fish doesn't know it's in a fishbowl until it's out of the fishbowl. Otherwise, the fish is so embedded in that. He's just like, oh, I'm just normal life, right? I feel like you might have had some physical things that happened to you in a relationship that was very unhealthy so at some point in your life. Whether you're coming out of that now or you are, or you recently have, like, look at this. This guy, this person looks so peaceful. You know, there's this, like, you can sleep at night. You're getting your rest. You can, you can start or look, start looking forward to getting rest. If you still, if you're still like separated from somebody and you're having trouble sleeping or whatever, that, like the solitude and the recovery getting a massage, maybe some acupuncture, maybe getting some kind of surgery or something. You see those three swords there, right? That represents the three of swords, the heartbreak. But look, those swords can't touch you. They're not touching you because you're at peace or you will be. Very important message for you there. Okay. Clarity. You're gonna, you're, the fog is starting to lift. I feel like some of you are seriously coming out of um, a very difficult relationship or a long-term marriage um, or just something, uh, a family relationship, you know, an abusive, an abusive family member or a friend or something along those lines. Like this sword cuts through the clouds, okay? which means like clarity comes truth comes victory comes like things begin to clear for you going forward in this month okay um you're gonna start understanding every day that goes by that you are moved away from this relationship another layer of the onion will peel away the clarity doesn't come all of a sudden it's not like somebody, it's not like um, 
you know, you could rip the band-aid off of a relationship, expose it, and just be like, it's done. But then when you get your healing, that healing is like one layer at a time. And I feel like a lot of you didn't give yourselves enough time to heal if you left a relationship before. You got, like, you would have had 10 layers, would have been 10 layers for you to get clarity. But I feel like some of you only got to, like, two or three because you get that door open and somebody just kept coming back into your life. Okay? Or some of you were going no contact and giving the silent treatment um, as a way to punish this person and make them come back. But just... If you're doing that, that's the wrong reason. That's that's the wrong reason. Like, you you want to go into con no contact so you can get your rest and your clarity, and so you can figure out on your own what you want to do with a connection. But some of you are coming to see that this person, most of the time, was just rushing in with passion and lust. Um, trying to get that with you and then they were leaving so they might have been in and out of your life and it could have been a very off and on you know like for some of you it was like every other weekend or every couple of days somebody was coming in you know like this night once um very free-spirited um hot to trot you know full of um hormones <laughs> and wanting to come in and just you know have that passionate those passionate intimate times with you and then leaving so some of you could have been you know or are coming to terms with you know well was that what it was or was there more to it some of you might have been thinking um that there was something more to the connection because somebody might a person may have led you to believe that i don't know i just feel like separation is bringing clarity okay for some three of wands here this might have been a long distance connection as well because he's looking out onto the horizon there i see all those ships a lot of you were waiting wondering when this person you spent a lot more time being unsure about the relationship or wondering when they were going to come in and if they were going to go out again okay waiting for them to come in and then they would leave and then waiting for them to come back again a lot of you were in very like i just you were you hated the fact and some of you might have told this person that you're not a revolving door but i feel like it wasn't them you were trying to tell i feel like it was you who needed to convince yourself of that because for some reason um I know what it is. This person controlled you. They tried to control you. And a lot of you didn't even realize that's what was happening, that you were being controlled by somebody, manipulated. What a tough what a tough reading this is. This is a tough reading. And go fuck that person. Not literally. Figuratively. Like they can they should kiss your ass. <laughs> Tell them to kiss your axe. Seriously. You deserve better than that, Virgo. Look at you. Okay. Yeah, this person was like a wanderer. You know, they were just go They were always going solo from one port to the next. Just a wanderer with just a backpack. You know, or, you know, always traveling, traveling light. It was just someone who, um, they just wanted to do their own thing. That's They were just a fool. Very immature kind of energy. The fool doesn't commit to anything. The fool is like just a fool, like like a like a joker, just dancing around, goofing around, um, very childlike energy. The fool, you know, it's like the baby of the tarot. Um, just kind of someone who would just take chances with no, never really had to have any consequences, you know. Just a very immature energy. Okay, usually the fool is really cool. <laughs> I rhymed. The fool is usually like a, a good type of energy, a happy-go-lucky. But in relation to the other cards and what was going on here, I feel like that person you were with was a damn fool. And they're a, were a damn fool for letting you go and treating you the way that they did. Yeah, look. They were breadcrumbing. This is my breadcrumbing card. You're just given bits and pieces there. Okay, given the sum, given to others, everybody, they, this person was just spreading themselves thin. 
and giving out of a sense of duty, well, I got to give to Virgo and I'm going to give to somebody else just to keep them all down. Because this person, look at where they stand, standing in like a place of um, entitlement. And everybody, you know, having others beg them. This person was giving what I call intermittent reinforcement. Well, here, here's some bread. I'm going to give you some bread. I'm going to give you some love. You know, and I'll give the other person some males, females, whatever. Maybe your person was, um, you know, interested in both or whatever. Um, they were, what is it? Like a pansexual, maybe? And this person just kind of like, just keeping everybody um, semi-satisfied until they came back around again. So breadcrumbing. Yuck, I hate this person. I am so, if this is your story and you're coming out of this, I'm so proud of you. If you haven't come out of this yet, please take a look at it. Listen to this reading several hundred times because that's what I feel. I feel like this person's regret is more along the lines of they couldn't keep controlling you and they have regret, they regret. It's, it's about them. It feels like it's about them. I mean, Anybody who loves you isn't going to stab you in the back like that, okay? I know of stories of, like, parents who stab their kids in the back like that. Family members, people you give your heart to and stab you in the back. Friends, mm -mm. Bad, bad, bad person, bad person. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <clears throat> all right they just told me keep your eyes open virgo because i feel here that once you get to that position now whether that's this month or next month or whatever once you get yourself in a position where you feel like you're strong and things are going your way which they will be okay once you get there don't close your eyes and think that you're like completely safe and protected because this person is going to try to contact you okay they're going to bring you some news. Um, this person is going to bring you some news about some kind of something they've been thinking about, some kind of idea or plans that they have or something they want to do. This person is very... <sighs> since you've been gone, since you've been gone, <clears throat> since you've decided, for those of you who have, that you're just not coming back, the door's shut, it's never gonna happen again for you because you know that this person didn't love you um, and you don't wanna be with someone who doesn't love you and then if they come back and then like, it's like, how can then you all of a sudden now love me? How can, how, what a coincidence it is that now all of a sudden you love me? No, if this person, since you've been gone, I feel like they're kind of, um, like it's kind of turning them on. What a fucking weird thing. It's kind of turning them on that you gained your strength and your power. <sighs> They're watching you. It's it's weird. It's almost sick. Um, <laughs> but it's like very childish, you know? And if this is like a friend or a family member, it's not turning them on. It's just that they see that you've changed and you, you took your power back. And I feel like they're intrigued or enthused by that okay the lover aspect the, the part that it's a lover is turning them on but this aspect of where you know things are looking good for you and you got your strength back um and you are loving yourself and respecting yourself and your cur you're being courageous um, with the steps, you're, the move that you made was very courageous because maybe they didn't think you would do it. But with the Wheel of Fortune here, things are turning in your favor and they see this. Okay. 
you've you've turned the corner here. You're turning the corner, and they see that you're turning this corner, and they're watching you. Okay, hold on. All right, Knight of Cups in the reverse, but don't think for two minutes. Any communication from this person is coming in. That Knight of Cups in the reverse, this is someone who's a complete asshole. <laughs> One of those, uh, how can I say it? This person is just really like emotionally manipulative, moody. Um, they could be jealous. Um, they withhold love. Still, this person has not changed. And that's just because you change. So this is what happens. When we start changing, um, because we're feeling better, then we start thinking that everybody else is better, but that's not true. That's where you get that's where you get um, stumped. You start feeling better about yourself, and, and you'll know that when you start feeling better about yourself, things don't bother you as much because you're feeling good and you're in a happy place. Um, and then when this person comes back, you're like, oh, yeah, hey, what's up? You feel untouchable when you start feeling good again. But this, those people have not changed, okay? And even though they see that you're changing, this whoever this person is, I feel like is going to come in and put those expectations on you again um, or try to do something to make it seem like they're coming in with like... Um, like a, in a romantic way or just someone who's going to try to charm you, but don't be fooled, okay? Because they ripped the rug right out from under you here because this person's going to come in with that secure insecurity still, even some emotional manipulation. But it's still, this person goes from the immature page, well, the fool to like the page to um, a knight in reverse, you're looking for a king or an emperor or a queen or an empress. You're not looking for pages and, and knights, <laughs> right? Let's see. Okay, yeah, this person is going to try. So they're going to, yeah, they're going to like try to make plans with you to come forward. Um, put plans in place to try to reconnect with you again and try to make it seem like it's about love this feels more like a warning than anything try to make it seem like it's about love but it's not the knight of cups is in the reverse it's not it's just someone who's brooding and they don't like they 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 don't they still don't want to use you what is this is this person obsessed with you what the heck it's just obsessive control cancer energy leo Aquarius. Let's see. Okay. Oh, look at you. That's you, Virgo, the high priestess. You're not saying nothing. You are in quiet mode. You're keeping your secrets. You're staying mysterious. You're going within, trusting yourself. Yep. Ten of Wands in the reverse. You're like, nope, I'm finally saying no here. This is a card of freedom. Your freedom is that you don't have to tell anybody what you're doing. You don't have to speak. That's your freedom. You get to this place where, hey, I don't need to respond. I don't need to tell them anything. It's none of their business what I'm doing. They left me. They broke up with me. Or, I, or they forced me to break up with them. They stabbed me in the back. I don't owe this person anything. I'm ascending now, okay? So I see you getting into your, like freeing yourself from any advancements that this person tries to make towards you, which is what I feel like you've needed to do here. Now, I'm just trying to keep it real here. I know some of you, not all of you, but some of you let your emotion get the best of you. And you, you talk yourself back into these relationships sometimes. Not all of you, but some of you M might have a tendency, especially if somebody's controlling or is uh, manipulating you emotionally or if you're in a place of need. 
it's very easy to do people can sniff it out they can sniff out if you're in a place of need they can also sense when you are in a place of no i ain't, i don't need your ass no more they can sense that as well so that ten of wands in the reverse with the high priestess is making me feel like um you're really starting to lighten up. You're, you're taking a break from this relationship, if anything. If it's too much for you to say, hey, I'm never, ever, 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 ever going back to you. you. If that's too much for you to say, then you could just say, as of today, we ain't speaking. <laughs> as, of this, as of one day at a time, as of today, I have no plans to be talking to anybody or responding to this person because I'm on a break, I'm on a vacation, I'm going within, I'm going quiet, and I'm not saying a word, and you can go get your blowjob from somebody else. <laughs> I only said that because there's a B and a J here, but I know that's not what that means. That's Boaz and Jaquim, Joaquim, Boaz and Joaquim. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what else is going on here for you. Yeah, look, you're in hermit mode. Ooh, here's the Empress. So for the ladies, you are getting yourselves in Empress mode. Okay, we have Virgo, we have Libra. Um, getting yourselves in Empress mode here on the down low. Going in and reflecting. What do I need? What shampoo do I need? Um, where should I get my nails done? Um, let me work in my garden. Where's a good place for me to sit outside and meditate? A lot of you are like focused on self. Some of you might even be dealing with a pregnancy at this time and you're dealing with it alone because it's better than dealing with this asshole. So you're in a good place with that and you're, you're divinely protected as well. Um, and for the males, this, you know, who's, who are interested in ladies, <laughs> This is what you're you're going within and this is what you're you're wanting here this type of a woman okay if you're interested in females this female she can hold her own she's responsible you know she's the empress of the emperor she can um now you, you guys are not fully matched but it's okay you're not too far apart on the um, zodiac wheel so there's a bit of an understanding here between the two of you but she can hold her own she's either already a month or a mother or will be one um, but she's very independent and beautiful and responsible and she takes care of her children and her family and she's not scum <laughs> okay if you're interested in if you're so if you're interested in females male or female this is her um, if you are a female right? Um, this is you, okay? If you are a male, this is you going and reflecting, waiting for um, someone to come forward who's perfect for you. You're not chasing. You are not chasing, okay? If you're interested in a male, um, the male energy comes across as being very reserved and self-reflective, that's the type of person that you're looking for. Someone who is not flashy in the pants, someone who's wise and quite mature, you know, and isn't um, an idiot. <laughs> okay, eight of wands, yeah, in the reverse. With the five of swords, oh my God, Virgo. This person, I'm telling you, is gonna be trying to reach out with these eight of wands here. This is Cupid's arrows. And look at you, you got your sword there and you're like, whack, 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 whack. No, you're like, you're not accepting any kind of communication at this time. Um, I just feel again with this eight of wands in reverse, like the 10 of wands in the reverse, it's the same exact message. It's release, escape, liberation, and freedom, okay? You know, it's like there's delays. You're delaying um, any frustrations to come about by cutting it, nipping it in the nose and freeing yourself. Okay. And that's what I feel like is, is going on here. This five of swords energy, you know, you're just 
you know, you're like, I am not going to be bullied. I'm not going to be in an abusive relationship. Somebody's going to come in with these eight and ones trying to attract me or make plans with me or connect with me. And I'm deflecting it. Like they're shooting their arrows at me, but the target has now been moved, rearranged. They're not going to hit their target. Now, it feels like you're the heartbreaker now. It feels like you're the one who's, heart, who's breaking somebody's heart. Because see how this person here is holding those three swords? Like the tables have turned. That might be why that regret is there. The regret that they, they couldn't... They regret that they weren't conniving enough to ma keep manipulating and controlling you. The regret is for themselves. Let's not blow any smoke. They regret, they regret that they weren't smart enough to outsmart you. Okay. I'm probably going to make this reading a little shorter tonight because I've done one, two, three, four. This is my fifth reading today, like fifth video. And um, I don't know. I'm feeling kind of burned out. <laughs> I'm really feeling a little burned out. I don't know what's going on. All right, let's take a look. I just, you know what? They just said pull a couple of more of these um what are they called again island time wellness island time wellness cards okay they said pull a couple more of these cupid's arrow holy shit see this person like i said is going to be coming in with these cupid's arrows telling you to have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting but this is also hesitation see and that's what i said the eight of wands in the reverse is hesitation and delays i feel like even if they get those arrows through if they don't hit directly they'll hit around you somehow this person could try to reach out or connect with you through somebody else I, I feel like you're gonna see what's going on because you're not in it anymore now you're that fish that's out of the fishbowl and you're gonna see and sense and you, you know because you're the high priestess here you're using your senses to figure stuff out trusting your intuition and you're gonna um hesitate you're not gonna um if anything, you're just going to shut it down. I feel like they keep giving me the same messages. Yep, it's a love call. Someone tries to express their love or send you a mess messages of love. Thinking of you and letting you know. Mm. Hope you're doing okay. Where have you been? Um, mom says she hasn't heard from you. Or, um, you know, we saw one of... Um, your, your friend is working here now. Like, it's kind of like reasons to call. But they're, they're, but they're just going to be reasons like, hey, what? Like, trying to temperature check you to see where you're at. A lot of you just went off the grid. You just, like, went off the grid. Like, as if you don't even exist. It's got somebody who's a bit curious, but you're not. And I'm not saying... Like, I don't know what you're doing. Some of you might be talking to somebody else right now. Others of you might be like, maybe you're traveling or you have a new work project. I don't know. But whoever this person was, they're not um, showing up in this reading as being um, the most important person in your life anymore. So who knows? Maybe you guys have other things that are going on in your life. But as of now, I just feel like you are... Like the tables are turning for you um, in January. And some of you, it's already been happening. The sword and the rose. All right, so this means to me, remember how we had um, the sword here with stabbed in the back? This is like the worst. I, this isn't what it means, but what I'm, what I'm picking up here from this, this person is coming in with a rose, but there's a sword attached to it. In other words, this is someone who smiles in, in your face, but then stabs you in the back. You know, they give you a rose, but, but the thorns on it make you bleed. 
right? Like it's it's the kind of thing where I don't even know if it's like a poisonous rose. Not that they're going to give you a poisonous flower or anything, but it's kind of like wasn't that a story in Snow White or something? I can't remember the the witch in Snow White. Isn't that what this story was? Like a poisonous poisonous Oh, the apple. She gives a, she gives an apple to Snow White. Um beautiful nutritious wholesome apple but it's really a poisonous apple that's what i feel like this is just be careful i don't know who the hell this demon is that you were dealing with it's just somebody that i don't know they it's testing as soon as you walk away or if you already have this energy is going to play out again okay but Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closing the door. No more closure, closure issues. So you, I know this message may not be for everyone. So, you know, don't get confused because I do the readings like daily. Um, there's some of you here. You're all in different classes and categories. I get it. It's a general reading. Some of you here are completely like moving on, but you haven't like, listen, if you've got nothing, like you haven't spoken to this person in forever and it's completely done and you're here trying to like, um, you're upset because I'm not doing new people coming in all the time. Listen, um, this could be somebody new coming in for some of you um, where I'm already picking up the energy. You know what I mean? Like you have to, you know, right now you might be listening to this and saying, oh, wow, well, there isn't anybody. But like on January 27th, you could be meeting somebody, you know, or on, um, I don't know, the 19th, you could be meeting somebody new. And then this energy starts playing out. Okay. Um, so if, but if you're like, like, I'm just giving the message here. I just cannot please every single one of you. I know there's some of you here that are in a position What this reading feels like it's a specific message for those of you who are either trying to get out of something that's been unhealthy, that you're having a hard time getting clarity on, or you're out of it already, um, and things are gonna start shifting and changing in your mindset although the person is going to try because it's you're newly out of it is going to try to reach out to you again okay i want to just give that disclaimer because i know you guys <laughs> are so tired of hearing about this kind of message but i you know what it makes me crazy when you guys post in the chat or comments how you hate hearing about this i mean this is generally what my readings are you know what I mean? And if somebody new is showing up, I'll make a video and we'll talk about it or I'll put it in here. But for some of you, I don't know that this is a past person. For some, I feel like it's a situation that you're in right now. And it doesn't have to be. Like I said, it's a love reading. It could be like your mother. <laughs> or it could be a sibling who's just really down and dirty or a friend. All right. Did I make myself clear there? I hope I did. All right, let's see. Okay, so. Okay, there's an interracial relationship. For some of you, this is an interracial relationship and for others I'm getting um, I'm also picking up an emerald birth stone or an emerald stone or the word emerald it's there's green like a green stone crystal or a stone or a gem okay I heard the name Mia and hold on okay and then i just heard milan m-i-l-a-n milan milan maybe that's italy milan okay let's see 
Oh my gosh. Does anybody color Easter eggs? There's, somebody's going to be coloring Easter eggs. Um, you know, dipping them in dye. Coloring Easter eggs. Or if that's something that you like ritually do or have done with children or you, you do something like that. Um, I feel like this is like a really strong message for somebody here. Oh. Then I just heard MIG. Like, um, I'm hearing, they're giving me, um, like an airline pilot or like, um, a fighter jet pilot or something. Okay. I'm just seeing somebody dropping colored dyed tablets, dye tablets into like little cups. Okay. Egg cups. They're seeing, they seem like egg cups. Okay. It's weird the messages that come out here. Oh. Definitely give me some Piscean energy here. Oh, okay. And somebody has like a white husky or a white dog. Or a golden retriever. And then, um, okay, this is going to sound strange. I just saw two spark plugs. Two spark plugs. You know what spark plugs are in an engine? Something to do with spark plugs. Somebody's got to do something. Either you got to change your spark plugs or get new ones. Do they even put spark plugs in cars anymore? I don't even know. I guess they do. I don't know anything about that stuff. I just remember spark plugs, but I'm seeing them as well. Some spark plugs. Oh, all of a sudden I've just got a big yawn. Is somebody tired? Besides, I guess me. I'm not feeling, I mean, I'm feeling like drained from doing the readings, but not drained enough to be yawning. Um, okay. You will see, when you see the first cardinal come out, I'm, I'm picking up like a red cardinal. Um, that's going to be symbolic for you, a red cardinal. And also, is somebody eating grapes? Green or red grapes? Or a vineyard? Who's somebody? It just says somebody's name, Martha. <laughs> Martha. Marty. A lot of M energy. Okay. So the birth dates that I have, I will tell you, I have all right, so we have the third, the eighth, the fifteenth, eighteenth, and the nineteenth. Okay. Um and then there's somebody here who's between the age of 47 and 49. Okay. All right. If those things resonate for you, that means that these messages are for you. All right. Let's get your charms. Okay. What the hell's that? Oh. I don't think I have ever gotten this before. We have a hummingbird. Hummingbird. Dream dream about a hummingbird or dreams about a hummingbird. That means that there's change coming, but there's also protection. If you see a hummingbird or have a dream about one. There's also a pink rocking horse again. Um, and an owl. A wise owl. Um... Either somebody has an owl clock. There's an owl clock. Um, could be an actual owl clock on the wall or it's a toy. Um, a 
it's a wise wise owl. Somebody very wise. All right, hold on. I gotta. Change these up. Okay. Oh boy. Somebody's having a little girl. We have a pink stork. Somebody's giving birth to a little girl. Okay. Also, there's, it's not a stork, but it could be a pink flamingo as well. But I do have a little girl here. But she's kind of like, this little girl is going to grow up to be, um, she's going to play sports. She's going to be an athlete. And she's going to be very successful, like professional athlete. Oh. Okay. So we have we have um pink and blue. Okay. I feel like somebody's going to do uh that's weird. No. Oh, um that's all that's what they were saying. I'm sorry. A black cat. Somebody has a black cat, but the color is written on the certificate blue called a blue cat but he, it's actually a black cat or it looks black it's like or it has like a very dark dark gray it's a dark gray cat almost for some it could be black but for others it's like a very deep dark gray silver dark silver blue cat is what they're saying this is what they're, this is what they're telling me i don't even know what that means um somebody's in florida somebody lives in florida or somebody has like a blue cat, just a right, just not like a stuffed animal, blue cat, toy. Oh my God, you got another owl. What are the odds that you're going to get two owls, two wise owls? What the heck? Somebody look that up and tell me what that means when you see two wise owls. Because we know we have two. You know, Virgo, I have to tell you, whoever this person was that you were dealing with, this person thought that you weren't a match for them like that they were smarter than you but mm, you're finding out this person is not a match for you in the sense of whatever they're trying to do um or trying to keep you down or trying to oppress you in some way you're outsmarting them this time and i feel like this person is going to have a lot of regret that they weren't smart enough to notice that you Either you were staying there because you just were trying to test them out or something, or some of you were staying there because you really got duped a little bit. But I feel like the Virgos don't stay duped. Even if they do get duped, they do figure it out, and they do eventually keep it moving. They don't stay down. <laughs> All right. All right, I guess that no more wanted to come. So I'm going to leave your message there, but I am going to give you one romance angel card for love for your future because I feel like you really need that. I feel like you've been through a lot and you're going through a lot right now. Let's see. What is your romance angel love message for the future? Okay, chemistry. There's, all right. So the message is go back to yesterday's singles reading. It's timeless. Okay, retreat. These cards are coming up again. That's what they want you to know, okay? Go back to yesterday's message. I will post the link here. Um, there'll be a card at the end of this video um, where I think I can do it. If not, I'll do it next time. Um, or I'll post the link in the description box where you go back to the singles read. Okay, if you're in that position where you're just trying to have a new start on your life, you want to know about singles, the singles reading I did yesterday is timeless throughout, I mean, I said through January, but it can play out anytime the rest of this year. Go back and listen to it because these cards are here and, and that is the strongest message that they're giving right now. Go back to that reading. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave this here. Um, I will see you all next Sunday, all of my channel members. Uh, next Sunday, the 23rd, I will see you in um, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the chat to do your readings. And I will also be um, on my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, on the 22nd to do readings as well at 11 a.m. 
Eastern Standard Time. You don't have to be a member there. It's just $20 for three cards. All right, you guys. Love you very much. Have a lovely evening. Stay warm. Stay cool. Wherever you are in the world, be safe. And I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Love you. Bye.